This morning and I'm a celeb star Lisa Snowden talks body confidence and fitness tips. With her natural beauty and killer figure, the model and TV presenter could easily pass for a woman 10 years younger. The former Capital FM DJ was used to 4 a.m. get-ups before quitting her radio job two years ago. But her secret to looking youthful isn't extra hours in bed she puts her glowing complexion down to probiotics. She recently revealed, my friends and family have been commenting on how glowing I look and these compliments aren't a result of me applying too much self-tan, nor using liberal amounts of iridescent highlighter. It's all down to my recent discovery of probiotic skincare. The star tells us she's never felt more confident, and it's just as well. Along with presenting fashion and beauty segments live on this morning, Lisa is dishing out advice on her beauty blog, You Glow Girl, and will tie the knot with her entrepreneur fiancé George Smart later this year. After initially planning to elope, she recently revealed, We've done a beta of 180 and are now thinking it will be in this country. But what we do know is it'll be a very quiet and intimate affair. Here, Lisa chats to TV Life about her favorite health and beauty products, exercise tips and which part of her body she would like to change and. It's hard for us girls to be body confident hormones play a big part and can make you feel crap about yourself Lisa Snowad and what is the one health product you swear by? Definitely proven probiotics your immune system and health starts in the gut, so if you can get the flora and good bacteria in your tummy up to speed then I feel the rest of my body runs a lot smoother. I always take two proven probiotics a day with food, usually with my breakfast. I also try to ensure I stay hydrated and avoid sugar as it feeds harmful gut bacteria, causing bloating and damage to the gut lining. What impact does bloating have on you? When you bloat after you've eaten, you just feel really uncomfortable and self-conscious. Your clothes don't always fit as they should and it's not ideal for anybody. I am quite in tune with what's happening in my body and know when something hasn't agreed with me so try my best to avoid certain triggers. What top tips do you have to overcome bloating? Chew slowly and be more conscious when chewing your food. Be more mindful when you eat don't rush, don't eat on the go. If you don't chew enough before you swallow then your body takes in more air and causes more bloating. Of course taking daily probiotics as well is very effective for overcoming bloating. What 5 beauty products do you always have in your makeup bag? My top 5 beauty products are a great cleanser to use twice a day, such as Evelum, a good moisturizer, I like Dr. Periconi MD Face Finishing Moisturizer with SPF, by Terry Concealer Stylo Expert Click Stick, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette for a lovely dewy glow, and finally my favorite lipstick at the moment would be Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution. In pillow talk. What's your best budget beauty buy? Nivea Extra Gentle Eye Makeup Remover It's a quick and easy way to remove my makeup. What do you eat on an average day? On average for breakfast I'd have almond milk, 
oats and berries, bananas. Lunch is rye bread with smoked salmon, scrambled eggs and avocado. Dinner would be a piece of fish and veg or pasta with veg and chicken. Or sometimes I fancy a pizza. What five food items do you always stock up on at the supermarket? My go-to items are avocados, eggs, fruit, almond milk and tender stone broccoli. What are your typical drinking habits on a night out? Vodka with lime and soda is my favorite on a night out and in the summer I like a Peral spritz. I try to drink water in between each alcoholic drink and, in an ideal world, if I remember before I go to bed I'll take a rehydration sachet. Failing that, in the morning I drink as much liquid as I can. Take a couple of paracetamol and lots of green juices, matcha and eggs or avocados something nutritious. And I try to ignore my junk food cravings. Do you exercise? I regularly do reformer pilates. I try to walk as much as I can and occasionally go to HIIT classes. What are your exercise tips? Get workout gear that looks good on you and makes you feel great. And go to classes so you're more motivated with a group that way you can't run away and have to stick it through. Also. Do things you enjoy so the time passes quickly and it doesn't feel like a chore. What is your favorite and least favorite body part? Favorite body part would probably be my legs. I'm lucky that I'm tall, so therefore my legs are long. My least favorite would be my arms and tummy as they're a bit out of shape. What is your ultimate body confidence tip? I think now I feel the most confident because I feel like I don't obsess as much as I used to. I know I don't look as good as I did. But as you get older you try not to worry about the small things and other things become more important to you. I'm not as picky and mean to myself anymore, which comes with age. It's hard for us girls to be body confident hormones play a big part and can make you feel crap about yourself. But I've definitely now got more of an accepting frame of mind. Did you make any New Year's resolutions for 2018? I'd like to learn Japanese, so that's my resolution for 2018. It's one of my favorite countries with the best food and culture. What's your perfect weekend like? Just being at home, in front of the fire, reading newspapers, hanging out with my fiancé George, cooking and seeing family.